All right, um, got a lot of fights to discuss over the weekend still, okay? Uh, let's start out with Danny Garcia against Adrian Granados. Danny beat Granados better than anybody else has ever beaten him. You know, Granados has been in there with Broner. He's been in there with Porter. He's been in there with um, uh, Amir Imam where, you know, that was the first time I see Granados. Um, I did a prediction for this fight. You know, I knew Danny was going to win, but I didn't think he was going to win in this fashion. I didn't think he was going to just beat up on Granados. You know, um, I realized in the very first round, in fact, in like the opening seconds of the fight, after Danny landed a, a couple of shots, I noticed that Granado's face was like red already. In the very first like 40 seconds, I noticed that this guy's nose around his nose area was red. And just his body language, even after, you know, just in the first round, like I knew Granado's wasn't going to be able to keep getting punched by Danny. Like Danny was really sitting down on his punches. Um... He was ta- he was timing his counters like really really well. Um, Adrian Granados is a tough dude. He's a tough dude. He's a good fighter, but he just couldn't deal with Danny Garcia, man. And when Danny Garcia like is on his game and he's in control, it's it's really hard to beat him, especially because he he does punch very hard. You know, he's a good counter puncher. I think Danny. The main thing was with Danny is that he's in a tough division. You know, you got a lot of good fighters at welterweight. You had a lot of good fighters at 140, you know. Um, Granados, Granados did fight. He did fight. He did land shots. But Danny got a great chin. He's been in there with big punchers like Matisse and Thurman. And he's never been down, you know. He's never really even been rocked like that, you know. He recovers well with the big shots. And, yo, when a guy's coming forward and, you know, it, it's not much you can really do, you know. A lot of guys that had, that's in welterweight, when you look at the top welterweights, man, and unfortunately, that and that's the way I see Danny. You look at the top welterweights, you got Spence and, 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 uh, and Bud, you got... Thurman and Porter, who's beating Danny. Close fights, competitive, but they beat Danny. And then you also got Manny Pacquiao. You look at these guys, you see long reach, you know, guys that know how to maintain distance. And then you got guys that are very athletic, you know, very fast, quick feet. You got Porter, Thurman. These guys are quick fighters, you know. So Danny's in a division where, you know, and Danny's one of those guys, like, I see him fight. He has to find that right sweet spot, that right mid-range spot where he's comfortable at being at, where he can time you. He doesn't have the long arms. He doesn't have the speed like these other fighters. But once he can get you in that sweet spot of his where he can land those left hooks, you know, pop those jabs or rather throw over those overhand rights, he's in there, you know. And the only issue really is that I think he could beat everybody else at welterweight, you know, um, outside of those top five fighters. You know, I think I still believe that. And I'm not saying I don't want to see the fight. I still want to see Danny fight uh, a Spence or a, a Crawford, you know, or, or Manny Pacquiao. Like I'm cool with all of those fights. Like, I'm cool with all of them. I mean, obviously, I want to see. Despite the fight that everybody else wants to say, I want to see Spence and Crawford go at it, but I'm still cool with Danny Garcia being one of their opponents. You know, I know Crawford is not like really believable, you know, but I would like to see Danny against Spence. That would be cool. Uh, I would like to see Danny against Manny Pacquiao. That would be cool, too, you know, but. As far as everybody in the division, like who else is available, there's still a lot of people available. Um, I just found out the other day that uh, Jesse Vargas is fighting Humberto Soto. That's a pretty good matchup, you know. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Danny fight the winner of that. I wouldn't mind seeing Danny fight Sergey Lipinets, you know. Uh, Kel Brook, who is a potential opponent for Terrence Crawford next. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. You know, that was a fight that I spoke on years ago 
which I thought was a pretty good day. And then that, that fight was actually almost about to go down, I believe. I remember there was some kind of rumor of them talking about fighting each other. Uh, I think this was after Kell Brook had, either after or before Kell Brook had beaten Sean Porter. Okay. But um, there's plenty of fights still there for Danny. You know, there's still a lot of good fighters up there at 147. Uh, but I think Danny beats all of these guys. You know, I think he beats them all. It's just those top five, not really sure. You know, two of them already beat him. And the other three, you know, I feel like they still have advantages over him. That might give them the edge. Uh, Adrian Broner is another fight that I think is a, a fight that it probably should have happened by now. You know? Probably that fight still can happen. You know, I would like to see that fight. There's plenty of fights out there, you know, but he looked very, very good against Adrian Granados. You know, he beat a dude that I thought was going to bring. It's not, I'm not trying to discredit Granado because he did bring, he did it, he did as much as he get, he could, you know, but he just couldn't take Danny's power, those counters. Danny was landing at will at times. And he made it look easy. Where no other fighter made it look easy. Like Brona arguably lost to Granados. Like that was a really, really close debatable fight. And Porter didn't have it easy. You know, Porter won, but Granados was coming forward. I, I gotta remember that fight. It's been a while since I seen that fight, but Granados was coming forward. He was coming at Porter. He 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 went in there to fight. And for Danny to make it look so easy is very impressive. So Danny is still a top fighter. You know, it's just that if the fights were to be made, those top five that I just named, I still would give them the edge over Danny. You know, it's just that it's going to be a tough fight regardless. You know, I think I seen Jose Cito Lopez might have called them out too. He had a good fight against Jose Cito Lopez. Listen, it is what it is. You know, he's past his prime, but... If Danny needs a sport, you know, a partner to go and he can't get into it, uh, a fight with one of these top fives, it's, it's always going to come. He's always going to get opportunities. He has a name. You know, he has an audience and everything. He's always going to get the opportunities, you know. Um, but if he can't, these are fights that still can can be made. You know, Lopez looked good against. He had his moments against Thurman. Um, you still got Andre Berto out there. You can't forget Berto. He's still around. Uh, that's not a fight. That's a fight that I thought we would have got already, too. That's another fight that can be made, which would be a pretty good fight. But all those other guys, all those guys, Kloon and Berto, um, I think he could be. Um, if he were to fight anyone outside of those top five, I would say the first one should be uh, Kell Brook. I think Kell Brook is... You know, I think Kel might be a little bit past his prom. He didn't look that much impressive in his last uh, fight or two since he lost to Spence. All right, but um, I would love to see him fight Kel Brook. You know, if Kel Brook doesn't go on and fight Bud, I would love to see him fight Brook. You know, I think if out of everyone out of those two, those top five, I would say Kel Brook has the best chance of beating him. That would probably make for the best fight, you know, Um but yeah, Danny Garcia, is, I can't even say he's back. I mean, he never really left. It's just what can he do against those top five fighters? There's plenty of fights that could be made, all right? So I was very impressed with Danny. I mean, I know what Danny brings. is just he did over-exceed my expectations. I didn't think he would stop Granados. I know he would win, but I didn't think he'd stop Granados. I thought Granados was going to bring... I thought this was going to be a, a real war, and it was a good fight. But Danny had that. Danny got that easy. All right, peace.